up and can't get down. Get it, Charlie. Hey, Fishy, bring me the baby 14 ladder. You realize that you've called out the whole fire department for just one cat? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. What's your name? Patricia Burke. And what's yours? Gertie Martin, sir. Which one of you turned in this alarm? Well, I, I guess I kind of did. Calling out of fire equipment for trivial causes is a source of unnecessary annoyance. Wear and tear on the equipment and an expense to the city. In the future, only pull a box in case of fire. For any other call, telephone the station and we will bring out what's needed without running out the whole department. Thanks so much for saving my kitty's life. We're both mighty grateful. Okay, sister. Come on, fishy. Wasn't that chubby one cute? Fair. Fair? Could I go for her or could I go for her? Why don't you? Nothing doing. The last strange girl I tried to date up socked me in the eye. Hey, I'd like to see one of them pull that stuff on me. If I wanted to go out with a girl, I'd go with her. Ah, uh, with you it's different. I'd like to meet her. Say, how about making it forehanded? What? Was that blonde? <laughs> no thanks. Clinging vines are all right for beginners, but for an old professor like me, <laughs> they are too easy. Well, she might fool you. Not a chance. I know women. But still, I don't mind wasting an evening on her if it'll help you out. Great. I'll look up the telephone number and you phone her. Say, hey, don't be a chump. Just leave it to me. I'll show you exactly how it's done. After that, you won't have any trouble with any of them. You mean that? Uh... <laughs> Women. Bah. I wouldn't give a plug nickel for the whole kitten boiling up. That's an extra five pounds. Ben Finn never got me nothing. Are these your things in the dishpan? Oh, I... I put those to soak and forgot all about them. Oh, Gertie, when you get that, I'm all soap suds. Sure. Howdy, miss. We just dropped by to see if the kitty had recovered. Oh, you're the fireman. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I do hope there won't be any trouble about turning in that alarm, but... I was so frightened, I just had to do something. Oh, don't mind that. Uh, then you're not going to take us to jail or anything like that? Nope. Only to a movie. What? A movie. You know, 
Uh, pictures, uh, screens, uh, uh, people there looking at them. And holding hands. You'll have to excuse me, I'm very busy. <laughs> uh, tell me, how much do you have to pay for this dump? Oh, $25 a month. Chump. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? Not bad. You want some? <laughs> Listen, you don't mean to tell me that you'd rather stay here than, than to go out. What sort of girls do you think we are? Why, I don't even know your name. Just call me Charlie. Come on now, let's wipe those pretty white hands. Come on now, you're not going to spoil my whole evening, are you? I'll spoil more than that if you don't get out of here. No. Do you want me to call a cop? Not unless you've got a friend for him, too. Think I won't? Police headquarters. Hey, you wouldn't break a guy just for a little fun, would you? Sorry, I... I didn't mean any harm. Could I... could I sit down? You know those, uh, large extension ladders? Yes. Well, that's more or less uh, my invention. Really? Oh, yes. And the helmets? Yes. I've improved on those two. That's marvelous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Say, by the way, what's your name? Gertie Martin. What's yours? Well, uh, boys call me Fishy. Fishy? Oh, I think that's a perfectly adorable name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Say, how'd you like to go to a movie? Me? Certainly. Not really. Come on. What's the matter? Come on, go with it. No. You coming, uh, Professor? Please, come on. No. Well, uh, so long. We leave you two lovebirds together. Come on, Gertie. Oh, 
job isn't so tough, you don't mind punching fees eight hours a day. If you need anything, just call it. Okay, thanks. What is your name, please? Patricia Burton. Type this. I get $18 a week to type. I see. Thank you very much. Gee, kid, that's curtains for you. What'll he do? Tell the boss? He is the boss. That's Mr. Garson himself. Huh? Oh, boy. I would have to do this. My first day on the job and I ball out the boss. Miss Burke, Mr. Garson would like to see you right away in his office. Uh-oh. Unemployment, here I come. In there. Sit down. Uh, Miss Burke, I wish to apologize for my seeming rudeness in staring at you just now. Well, I just came on this morning and I didn't know... Well, that's all right. You see, I've had no end of trouble with secretary. It seems it's impossible for them to forget that I'm wealthy, unmarried, and reasonably susceptible. And, uh, well, I'm tired of being baited and trapped in my own office. Now, your very honest embarrassment leads me to believe that you're a girl of no nonsense and might be suitable material as my private secretary. Private secretary? Yes. Oh, Mr. Garson, I couldn't. Oh, I see. You mean that you haven't had secretarial training, is that it? No, uh, you see, you, I mean... Well, then you'll have to learn. We may as well begin now. Come. Over there, please. Take an inter-office communication. There you are. Now, don't be nervous. You can write it in longhand if you wish. <laughs> this is to uh, Mr. Adams, cashier. Miss Patricia Burke becomes my secretary as of today. Salary, $50 a week. Oh, Mr. Carson. How can I ever thank you for this wonderful opportunity? Easily. By remembering that I'm not open for romantic entanglement. Can you uh, do that? Oh, yes, sir. That's very nice. We'd get along very well, I think.
Boy, when you didn't come out of that office in 15 minutes, I just knew you were a woman with a past. Applesauce. I never thought I'd see you hanging on the rope. What do you mean, hanging on the rope? I think he's grand. That's what I mean. What does he do to make you feel that way? Put something in your soup? Or is he one of those Svengali guys with glittery eyes? Say, you got him all wrong. The poor guy is just about crazy from designing females after his money. Mm -hmm. I'm hired because I'm supposed to be safe and sane. <laughs> da 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 Oh, shut up. You're just jealous. Of course I'm jealous. I give my right eye to be in your spot. Oh, boy, would I take that guy to the cleaners. That's why he's got such a bad name. With everybody out on the make for him. Listen, I've been around this joint plenty long, and I know what's what about that guy. That line about dames falling all over his neck, a lot of hooey. Horse feathers. Has he asked you out to the house to take dictation at night? No. No? Well, he will. And when he does, watch out. That's the payoff. How do you know so much about it? Oh, you don't believe me? No, I don't. Well, that's off with me. Now, just because he's a rich bachelor, nobody will give him credit for a sense of decency. Oh, sure. And all those stories were spilled on purpose just to shake him down. Only he had the courage to defy them and let them talk their heads off. And what did he get them? Nothing! They're out and he's still here, the boss. I give him credit. At a girl, old girl. You tell him. Oh, Gertie, let's don't argue. Make believe I didn't say anything, huh? Gee, after all, 50 bucks a week. We live swell on that. We... You don't mean you want to stick with me with all that dough rolling in, do you? For sure. Well, Gertie, I couldn't get along without you. <laughs> yeah, well, you won't be able to get along with me if you don't change your sight on that Garson guy. Say, you saw how I handled that fresh fireman, didn't you? Well. Well, I guess there's something in that. Sure, now forget it. The old left hook is still on the job. And if the gentleman forgets himself, he'll remember this. <laughs> How's it look, boys? <laughs> Wait a minute. Bah. And what women? Hey, Professor? Oh, shut up. Well, don't say I never warned you. Come on, Professor. We'll be late. Hey, keep your shirt on. We're not off duty for three minutes yet. And this dame that can sock me and get away with it. What was that, Professor? Nothing. And don't call me Professor. All right, don't get sore, Professor. Now, I won't call you Professor no more.
Anybody find Dickie? Yeah, sure. Just like a woman. They're all fools. I wouldn't give a club nickel for the whole central place. of you going to work in those clothes. Don't kid me. Oh, shut up. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Shut up. We had to go to a fire, I tell you. Jake got killed. Oh. I'm sorry. He was a swell guy, too. Hated women. He got his trying to keep some fool woman from killing herself. That's always the way. A good man loses his life. And for what? A canary bird that wasn't even there. Gee, it makes you feel kind of funny, doesn't it? Because every time you go to a firefight, you don't know whether you're coming back or not. Firefighting is just as safe as any other business. It's the fools that make it dangerous. People that get panicky or lose their heads, they get into a jam and you've got to get them out. And with Jake, it's just too bad. Do you have to do things like that? What if Jake had just let her go? He might just as well crawl into a hole and pull it in after him. There's no place for yellow bellies in this service. A fireman's job is to save life and property, no matter who's or why. Say, we figured rights and wrongs in this game. We wouldn't answer any bells. But there's not one blaze out of 10,000 that hasn't got a chump stun at the bottom of it. And yet you boys have to die on account of it. Well, that's okay. Everybody's got to die sometime. I just soon get mine doing something. Well, we got to go now. We only came so you wouldn't be sore. We'll see you again, won't we? Sure. Come on, Fisher. Come on, let's go. So long. They wanted to give me the Carnegie Medal and promote me. What did I say? No. I wanted to stick with my buddies, my pals. 
I didn't want the medals and that junk and... Sweetums. Yes, Fishy, darling. What do you say if you and I take a nice long walk together alone? Oh, Fishy, aren't you wonderful? Oh, Tush, come on. Oh, wait a minute. I mustn't let Gertie get too far away. Well, she'll be all right. I want to talk to you. Well? Come here. Not our chance. You don't like me much, do you? Why should I? Well, if you don't like me, why do you go out with me? I don't. I'm only here to be with Gertie. Get it? You work on the top floor of the Varnish Company building, don't you? Mm-hmm. If that place ever caught fire, you'd have a pretty tough time getting down. Most likely, you'd have to be carried down on a ladder. Here, well, let me show you something. Give me that. Now, let's see. Hey! Come on, let, I'm showing you something. Come on, that's it. That's the way. Let go now. Try it. Get away. You hey, now you let me go. Let go. That's for the sock you gave me. When I get loose from here, I'll lock you cold. Then I might as well collect in advance. Gee, you're a swell looker. You got eyes like an old fire horse I used to know. She was a mare too. Please let me go. Charlie. Gee, I could think an awful lot of anybody. Could see my son. Let's be good and decent, huh? I never knew it could be like that. Me neither. Gee, it makes me feel so... Oh, I don't know. All... I kind of like to cry, too. We're never going to let anything happen to this, are we? Never. We're going to be happy all the rest of our lives. Just all we need to do is we too. Now here I am on top of a ten-story building where the flames are roaring, the walls are falling. People are jumping out of the window to save their lives. Tons of dynamite underneath ready to explode at any second. Was I as scared? No. But a lot of guys would have been as scared. What did I do? Well, I reached and I reached. Oh, no, I'm all right. Oh, gee, I thought I busted it. I wouldn't want anything to happen to that. The boys gave it to me. There's an inscription inside. Let me see it. You want to see it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I've never had anyone before to look after me, and I'm so used to taking care of myself and <laughs> like that, you know. You've got somebody now, though.
Aren't they wonderful? Sure. in here. I think you'll find everything in the desk. And if you wish to freshen up, there's a dressing room just down the hall. Would you excuse me a moment, please? Martin, five, four, seven, six. Listen, kid, I'm at the Bolton's house. Oh, you chump. Well, gee, I couldn't refuse him. He was so nice about it. He really has got something to do. I'll say he has. Listen, kid, if Charlie calls up, um, cover me up, will you? Gee, he'd throw a fit. Yeah, but what about me? I suppose you think I'm dying laughing over it. I can take care of myself. Famous last words. You make just one pass at me and I'll go in. You know that. Well, okay, but don't drink anything. Not even water. Nothing. Not a chance. So long, kid. Shall we start now? Very well. Take a letter to uh, Tanner at Salt Lake. My dear Tanner, your proposition to ease up on the standard people astonishes me. It has taken me some time to maneuver into this position. And to back down now would be ridiculous. I beg pardon, sir. Miss Leroux is here. Not now, Henderson. Tell her I'm busy. Anything. It would appear she must see you, sir. Would you excuse me, please? Hello, Gert. Pat in? No, she had to work tonight. Think she'll be late? I hope not. Maybe that's her. I'll see. Hello? It's her. I don't know how late I'll be. Have you heard from Charlie? Have I? He's here. Wait a minute. Hey, what's the big idea? What does that big bozo think you are anyway? A slave? How late are you going to be? Gee, I don't know, Charlie. Pretty late, I guess. We've got a lot of work to do. Well, tell him to do it tomorrow. Say. What do you want me to do, get fired? That would be great. Hey, where are you? At the office? Well, what's the idea of having music at the office? You ain't at that guy's house, are you? Why, Charlie, didn't you tell me not to? He's coming. I've got to hang up now. Goodbye. Has she been out to his house at all since I told her? Oh, no. I know that guy. So do I. Say, if he ever pulled anything on Pat, I'd take him apart. And I'll be there to start the pieces. I think I'll call the office and tell her. Oh, oh, no, no. I, I wouldn't. Well, what's the idea? Well, she she's working. Then what? Well, uh, uh, suppose you were on top of a ten-story building and, and uh, planes roaring and, uh, and, uh, and walls crumbling and, uh, and people jumping for their lives and, uh, and a lot of dynamite under you going to blow up any, women, any, any minute and, uh, and, the, uh, and the phone rang. How would you feel? I see. Well, so long. The 
Pacific, 2400. Mr. Garson's office, please. Yeah, sir. No, sir. There ain't nobody here but me. Say, you're full of hop. I was just talking to them. I don't see how you how you can say how you can say that because there ain't nobody here but me. and I saw you and, well, I, I just came in is all. Through the window? Sure, it was quicker. Then I, then I saw what was happening and, well, I, I just came in, that's all. I suppose it, the joke's on me. Well, it certainly is. I'll say. Illegal entry, assault and battery on me and my fiance. Well, that's a joke you laugh over a good long time behind jail bars. Oh, but Mr. Garson, don't do that. He's a chump and all that, but he didn't mean anything. I mean anything wrong. My dear Miss Burke, I can't have my home intruded upon by your jealous lovers. Hey, you! Shut up. And then, then have them beat me up for kissing my own fiancé? But it won't happen again. Most certainly not. Miss Burke, I hired you as a protection from scandal. Scandal of any kind. You're indirectly responsible for this. Or you're through. Fired! Come, dear. Now you get out. Both of you. What a peach of a help you turned out to be. Oh, I'm sorry. Who asked you to come sneaking around after me anyway? What's the idea? Well, I didn't want that guy to put anything over on you, that's all. Say, they don't come that good. Yeah? So you think you're one of those smart dames, huh? I know my way around. Uh, not with these boys, you don't. What do you think I am, a chump? You go playing marbles with him, and you'll be worse off than that. Let me tell you something. Mr. Garson's a swell guy, see? He's been grand to me, and I like him. <laughs> sure, that's what he figures. He's one of these smoothies. He gets your trust in him, and it's just too bad. I'd trust him anywhere. Sure, that's what he wants. Say, did 
you come busting in here figuring that... I figured that you lied about being here and I came in to find out why. You get away from me! Get away! Get out! Get out! I never want to see you again as long as I live! Oh, Miss Bird. Hmm. about time you showed up. You look like the end of a misspent life. I feel like it. What's the matter, Garton put on an act? No, Charlie. He paid a kind of little drop-in visit. The poor hick. Uh-oh, and the party was on. I'll say. I suppose you two chatted more or less about it. Plenty. Might have even had a few words. Oh, can the third degree. Tell you we're through and that's that. Yeah. That's what I thought when these came. I don't want them. You don't want them? No, or I don't. Or are you going to look at them? Oh, the poor yokel, I don't want anything about it. Well, you could at least look at them. Flowers can't help who sends them. Well, you can have them. She's on a square. What do you mean on the square? Didn't she cover Pat all along? She wouldn't lie to me. Oh, I tell you, they all lie. Can't help it. They're built that way. Say, if I thought Gertie was lying to me, I'd... What? I don't know what I'd do. Say, what's she been telling you? She said I'm the handsomest man in the world. to get another secretary. Is this the secretarial duty? Oh, well, at least you might be pleasant to me. No. Was it understood that this was not to be part of our business? <laughs> I know. But I didn't know you then. <laughs> what would your fiancé think of this? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it at all. Oh, I can't do it all. Every bit of it. Oh, please, Mr. Garfield. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, don't I? Oh, well, don't fool yourself. That's just what I do know. If I thought you were sober enough to know what it was all about, I'd take a sock at you. Oh, well, now, be nice, will you? Be nice. Oh, let me go. Let go. Now, listen, will you be nice? 
Say, what do you think you're trying to do anyway? You'll find out if you make another pass like that at me. Oh, yes? What makes you think you'd get away with a thing like this? Oh, now, now, now. You knew what you were doing when you took this job. Sober or not, I ought to take a poke at you. Oh, come. Be reasonable. Now, see how you like that. And if you don't think I'm going to tell people about this, you're crazy. And if you think people aren't going to hear about your attempted blackmail, you're crazy. You and your sweetheart tried to frame me the other night, didn't you? I can send you both to jail for that. Now, you better be smart. Of course, I can always change my mind, you know, if I want to. What do you say, huh? Oh, I don't know what to say. Well, now you let me make up your mind twice, will you? Hmm. Wait! Company nine. Charlie, we've got to get out of town. What do you mean, we? Garth is going to jail you and me for what happened last night. Oh, yeah? Oh, Charlie, I was all wrong about him. He just tried to... He did? He did what? Say, I'm coming down there and tear him up for rags. Please, he's got you as it is. Well, if he's got me, it can't be any worse, can it? Wait till I get my hands on him. He can't do anything for a while anyway. I locked him in. We can catch a train if you hurry. You will, won't you? Okay, where will I meet you? At the station. How soon can you be there? Just as fast as the old flivver will perk. Gee, kid, this is going to be swell. We're going to be so happy. Just us together. Aren't we? Sure we are. Gee. Pat? Hello, operator. Operator. Operator.
Here we go. I want to apologize to you and Miss Burke. I'm terribly sorry for everything. Okay. And I'm sure you'll be rewarded. Picture, please. Once more, please. Just once more, please. Hey, listen, buddy. You'll take it like this and like it. <laughs> 